Good evening. Well-known outrigger canoe paddler Corel Tresnik has filed a lawsuit against one of the most popular nightclubs in Hawaii. Tresnik says he was viciously assaulted by an employee at the shack Waikiki. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto joins us now with details of the suit. Jill? Well, Paula, Karel Tresnik says he was assaulted in April 2009 and says he's still being treated for his injuries. Through the lawsuit, he says he wants to make sure that what happened to him doesn't happen to anyone else. These are photos of Karel Tresnik in the hospital the day after the incident. Tresnik says he was at the shack in Waikiki having drinks with friends at around 3 in the morning on April 4th of last year when he was assaulted by a bouncer. Next thing I know, an employee of a uh the shack grabs me from behind, puts me unconscious, and I end up on the ground with all my injuries. He says the incident was unprovoked, and he says he wasn't drunk. I had a few drinks, but not drunk. Tresnik says he's endured hours of surgery to repair his face and teeth. The mounting medical bills now over $80,000. It's been terrible. I mean, still to this point, I don't have all my dental work done. This incident is one of many reported at the Waikiki Trade Center over the last few years that have been the subject of complaints and investigations by the Honolulu Liquor Commission. Honolulu police say there are more reported assaults at the Waikiki Trade Center than at any other address on Oahu. But the owner of Zanzibar, a longtime nightclub next door to the shack, insists the area is safe and that many of the reported incidents involve patrons of other bars in Waikiki. I would say a third to a half of them for sure are caused by people that have nothing to do with the Trade Center at all. They just happen to be walking past the, on the street. The Liquor Commission is considering amending the liquor licenses for the Shack, Zanzibar, and another neighboring nightclub at the Trade Center, the Black Diamond, from 4 a.m. to 2 a.m. Tresnik, a seven-time world champion paddler, says he's been unable to compete since the incident. He says he hopes his lawsuit will bring about one thing. Justice. I mean, what happened to me shouldn't happen to anybody. Now, Tresnik's lawsuit is calling for his medical expenses to be paid. A spokesman for the shack says the incident was already addressed by the Liquor Commission and was dismissed due to a lack of evidence. He says, quote, anybody can file a lawsuit and they will let their attorney handle this. Reporting live, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.